My doctors told me at a relatively young age that um, my disease would get to the point where I would need to a lung transplant to sustain my life. At that point, I was like too young to really get it. I was just like, oh, cool. Because <laughs> I was never really scared. It was like the more I thought about it, the more excited I became. It was like, wow, this there's actually somewhat of a cure for this disease. I had like in-home nurse, I was on oxygen for five years at that point, you know, off and on, or really I would use oxygen only at night for when I would sleep, and that would help kind of sustain my health. And eventually my lung disease got so bad that, that I needed to start thinking about a lung transplant. About it. Two days after my surgery, I was back here in Eugene and living in, and at my house, and and I just remember going to the bathroom in the middle of the night a lot. I had, I had internal bleeding, and I hadn't realized it yet. I mean, I tried getting up, and I couldn't. I was so weak and white. And I just remember, like having <laughs> just like like my heart would just be really hard, and I, I just felt really bad. And it was, it was, you know, I'd been through surgeries before, this wasn't typical. And just from getting up, there was so much of a head rush of my blood that I went blind temporarily. My blood pressure was just so low, I, I can't remember what, it was maybe like 60 over 30 or, you know, something just remarkably unhealthy. And, and so she called 911 immediately. So that night they went in to cauterize cut that hadn't healed completely from my feeding tube surgery. So that was the source of my internal bleeding. It was all from the stomach. I guess that number might be closer to six as far as total blood transfusions, but my, but the total units I've needed have been quite a bit. And then not to count the IVIG and mm -hmm. plasma, I mean that, I've probably already had at least 15 plasma uh, doses, and, or the uh, IVIG doses. I went through, you know, 22 years of so much pain of breathing and how hard it was, and now it's, you know, it's, it's a lot easier and second nature. Speaking to other people with cystic fibrosis or looking into a transplant, I guess I would say, um, yeah, I think it's probably the best opportunity that you'll ever have in your life. It's probably my best moment of my life was my transplant and just kind of having a whole different future ahead of me. I wish that more people realized the need for, for donating. I think, uh, I don't think people really get it as often as um, other needs and stuff like that, but but yeah, don't even blood it, just, I, I wouldn't be here without it.